converting um, kilometres to miles. So I've declared my kilometre variable, I've declared my miles variable, I'm going to ask for the kilometres, I'm going to do my calculation and then um, I'm going to output it using some pretty output. If I look at the kilometres to miles function, all I'm doing is passing in the kilometres, declare that variable up, um, and then multiply it by the conversion factor. Now, I've purposely put the conversion factor in here rather than in the main, which, as that would then make this function modular so I can use this wherever I want. I don't have to rely on the main um, to pass in the um, the calculation passing the value which doesn't seem to make any sense to me um, returning the miles that goes back to main goes into there and outputs it um, just a, a little side note because we can't pass variables by reference we can only pass them by value in flowgrism that's why um, I have to declare it here as a local variable um, and then even though I've got it and then pass it out. I could I could call this something different, it doesn't matter. If I really wanted to, I could just call this uh, local miles. Um, it doesn't matter, it's just what that variable's called at this point in time. When it goes back, it goes into there and gets outputted. So let's just run that. Oops, I have to run that. I forgot to change that one. Okay, let's start again. Okay, so let's run that. There's the declaration of these two variables. I input, let's say, 1000 kilometers. Put this down here. You'll see thousands in there. That's initiali not initialized yet. Call the function. I've passed in kilometers in. Local miles is declared. Does the calculation 621.4 returns local miles back to the main? That's now in there, so that will appear here. There you go. And then using the output, using the ampersand here to join the string to the variable. 1,000 kilometres, 621.4 miles. Quick Google. 1,000 kilometres, 621.37 miles, so it's obviously rounding up to two decimal places. But there you go, all done.